Bandeham Shigura Shiata Parakamalam Shigurun Vaishnavam Sya Shirupam Sagrajatam Saganaragana Tambitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadu Tam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shirada Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagyana Jana Shalakaya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tazmai Shigurave Nama Gurva Bhishtam Supurakam Gurgana Rasisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samastaveda Nipanam Shirupa Patanugam Govinda Abhidam Ujvalam Varatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Vande Vishwagurun Shah Dibyad Bhagavat Prem Navi Bijapradam Devam Dibyatanum Suchandavadanam Balarka Chilanjitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Buddhim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Banditam Shubaram Marega Sharanam Nyashi Svarashi Dharam Mansha Kopatarubya Syakripa Sindhu Bhyavaja Patitanam Paveni Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namonama Namo Mahabaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayatai Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tabishe Nama. So we're reading from the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Madhya Lila Chapter 20, The Lord Instructs Sanatana Goswami. Purushavatar er eg koilu niruban lila avatar ebe shuna sanatan. O Sanatan, I have definitively described the three Purushavatars of Vishnu. Now please hear from me about the lila avatars, the pastime incarnations. Lila avatar Krishna na jayaganan pradana koriya kohe digdarshan. No one can count the innumerable pastime incarnations of Lord Krishna, but I shall describe the principal ones. Matsya Korma, Raghunatha, Nishingavamana, Varahadi, Lekajara, Najayaganan. Some of the pastime incarnations are the fish incarnation, the tortoise incarnation, Lord Ramachandra, Lord Nishinga, Lord Vamana, and Lord Varaha. There is no end to them. Madhyashva Kachapa Nishinga Varahamsa Rajanya Vipra Vibhudeshu Kritavatara Tvampashi Nashtri Bhuvanamcha Tathadunesha Barambhuvo Hara Yudutama Vandanam Te O Lord of the universe, best of the Yadu dynasty, we are offering our prayers unto you, mainly to diminish the heavy burden of the universe. Indeed, you diminish the burden formally by incarnating in the form of a fish, a horse, Hayagriva, a tortoise, a lion, Lord Nishinga, a boar, Lord Varaha, and a swan. You also incarnated as Lord Ramachandra, Parsaram, and Vamana, the dwarf. You've always protected us demigods and the universe in this way. Now please continue. Lilavatar er koilundig darshan, gunavatar er ebe shuna vivaran. I've given a few examples of pastime incarnations, lilavatars. Now I will describe the gunavatars, the incarnations of the material qualities. Please listen. Brahma Vishnu Shivatin guna avatar. Sri Guna Angikara Kore Shristi Adi Vyabahar. There are three functions within the, this material world. Everything here is created, everything is maintained for some time, and everything is finally dissolved. The Lord therefore incarnates himself as the controllers of the three qualities Satvagun, Rajagun, and Tamagun goodness, passion, and ignorance. Thus the transactions of the material world take place. Bhakti Mishra Krita Punye Kona Jivotam Rajogune Vibhavita Kore Taraman 
because of his past pious activities mixed with devotional service, the first class living entity is influenced by the mode of passion within his mind. Garbodakashai Dwara Shakti Sanchari Vyasti Shristikori Krishna Brahma Rupadari Such a devotee is empowered by Garbodakshai Vishnu. In this way, an incarnation of Krishna in the form of Brahma engineers the total creation of the universe. So because of his pi past pious activities mixed with devotional service, the first class living entity is influenced by the mode of passion within his mind. Such a devotee is empowered by Garbodakashai Vishnu. In this way, an incarnation of Krishna in the form of Brahma engineers the total creation of the universe. The Garbhodaka Shai Vishnu Purusha avatar expansion of Lord Vishnu accepts the material modes, Sattvagun, Rajagun, and Tamagun, and thus incarnates as Lord Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva. These are incarnations of the material qualities. Among the many superior living entities qualified with pious activities and devotional service, one called Lord Brahma is infused with the quality of passion by the supreme will of Garbhodaka Shai Vishnu. Thus, Lord Brahma becomes the incarnation of the creative energy of the Lord. Basvanya Tashmas Sakaleshu Nijeshu Teja Sviyam Giyad Prakatayati Apitadvadatra Brahma Yad Esha Jagat Anda Vidana Karta Govinda Mani Parusham Tamaham Jami. The sun manifests his brilliance in a gem, although it is a stone. Similarly, the original personality of God at Govinda manifests his special power in a pious living entity. Thus, the living entity becomes Brahma and manages the affairs of the universe. Let me worship Govinda, the original personality of God. Konekope jadi jogya jiva nahipai apane ishwara tabe amshe brahmahoi. If in a kalpa a suitable living entity is not available to take charge of Brahma's post, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself personally expands and becomes Lord Brahma. Yashangri pangaja rajokila lokapalar. Moli Uttamar Dritam Upasita Tirta Tirtam Brahma Bavoham Apiyasya Kala Kalaya Shris Chodvahema Chiram Asya Nripasanam Kva What is the value of a throne to Lord Krishna? The masters of the various planetary systems except the dust of his lotus feet on their crowned heads. That dust makes the holy places sacred, and even Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Lakshmi, and I myself, who are all portions of his plenary portions, eternally carry that dust on our heads. Nijam Shakalaya Krishna Tamo Guna Angikari Samhararte Maya Sange Rudra Rupadari. Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, it accepts a portion of his plenary portion in accepting the association of the material modes, mode of ignorance, assumes the form of Rudra to dissolve the cosmic manifestation. This is a description of the Rudra form, which is another expansion of Krishna. Only Vishnu Murtis are expansions of Krishna's personal and plenary portions. Maha Vishnu, who lies on the causal ocean, is an expansion of Shankarshan. When Garbhodakshai Vishnu accepts the material modes of nature for the purpose of dissolving the cosmic manifestation, his form is called Rudra. And all, as already explained, Lord Vishnu is the controller of Maya. How then can he associate with Maya? The conclusion is that the incarnation 
of Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma indicates the absence of the supreme will, the supreme power of Vishnu. When the supreme power is not there, it is, not, it is possible to associate with Maya, the external energy. Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva are to be considered creations of Maya. Maya Sangha Vikari Rudra Bhina Bhina Rup Jiva Tattva Nahi Jiva Tattva Nahi Nahi Krishna Rasa Rup Maya Sangha Vikari Rudra Bhina Bhina Rup Jiva Tattva Nahi Nahi Krishna Rasa Rup Rudra Lord Shiva has various forms which are transformations brought about by association with Maya. Although Rudra is not on a level with the Jiva Tattvas, he still cannot be considered a personal expansion of Lord Krishna. Rudra is simultaneously one with and different from the Vishnu Tattva. Due to his association with Maya, he is different from the Vishnu Tattva, but at the same time, he is an expansion of Krishna's personal form. This situation is called Beta Bed Tattva or Achintya Beta Bed Tattva, simultaneously one and different. Dugda Jena Amla Juge Dari Rupa Dari Dugda Antara Bastunahi Dugda Hoite Nare. Milk is transformed into yogurt when it associates with the yogurt culture. Thus, yogurt is nothing but milk, but still it is not milk. Of the three deities supervising the creation, maintenance, and dissolution of the universe, Lord Vishnu is never separated from the original Vishnu. However, Lord Shiva and Brahma, due to their association with Maya, are different from Vishnu. Vishnu cannot be transformed into any form of material energy. Whenever there is association with Maya, the... Uh, Whenever there is association with Maya, the personality involved must be different from Lord Vishnu. Therefore, Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma are called gunavatars, for they associate with the material qualities. The conclusion is that Rudra is not exactly Lord Vishnu, but rather a transformation of Vishnu. Therefore, he does not come within the category of the Vishnu tattvas. Thus, he is inconceivably one with Vishnu and different from him. The example given in this verse is very clear. Milk is compared to Vishnu. As soon as milk touches a sour substance, it becomes yogurt or Lord Shiva. Although yogurt is constitutionally milk, it cannot be used in place of milk. Shiramyata dadi vikara visesha yogat sanjayate natu tata pritag asti heto ya shambutam apitata sambupaiti karyad govindamari parusham tamaham bhajami. Milk changes into yogurt when mixed with the yogurt culture, but actually it is constitutionally nothing but milk. Similarly, Govinda, the Supreme Personality of God, it assumes the form of Lord Shiva, Shambhu, for the special purpose of material trans transactions. I offer my obeisances at his lotus feet. Shiva Maya Shakti Sangi Tamo Guna Guna Vesh Maya Tita Guna Tita Vishnu Paramesh Lord Shiva Lord Shiva is an associate of the external energy. Therefore, he is absorbed in the material quality of darkness. Lord Vishnu is transcendental to Maya and the qualities of Maya. Therefore, he is the Supreme Personality of God. Vishnu is beyond the range of the material manifestation and he is not within the control of the material energy. He is the supreme independent personality of God. This is admitted even by Shankaracharya, Narayana Parovyaktad. In his constitutional form, Shiva is a Mahabhagavat, a supreme devotee of the Lord. But because he accepts Maya's association, especially the quality of ignorance, he is not free from Maya's influence. Such an 
intimate association is completely absent in the supreme personality of God of Vishnu. Lord Shiva accepts Maya, but in the presence of Lord Vishnu, Maya does not exist. Consequently, Lord Shiva has to be considered a product of Maya. Um, when Lord Shiva is free from Maya's influence, he is in the position of a Mahabhagavata, a supreme devotee of Lord Vishnu. Vaishnavanam yata shambhu. Shiva Shakti Yukta Yukta Shashvad Trilingo Gunasamrita Vaikarikas Taijas Taijasascha Tamasas Cheti Aham Aham Trida Shiva Shakti Yukta Shashvad Trilingo Gunasamrita Vaikarikas Taijasascha Tama Tamashas Cheti Aham Trida. The truth about Lord Shiva is that he is always covered with three material coverings, Vaikarika, Taijasa, and Tamasa. Because of these three modes of material nature, he, is, he always associates with external energy and egotism itself. Hare Hare. He nirguna sakshat purusha prakrite para sasarvadrig upadrashta tamba jan nirguno babet. Sri Hari, the Supreme Personality of God, it is situated beyond the range of material nature. Therefore, he is the Supreme Transcendental Person. He can see everything inside and outside. Therefore, he is the supreme overseer of all living entities. If someone takes shelter at his lotus feet and worships him, he also attains a transcendental position. Balanartha Shvamsa Vishnu Rupe Avatar Satva Guna Drashta Tate Guna Mayapar For the maintenance of the universe, Lord Krishna descends in his personal plenary expansion in the form of Vishnu. He is the director of the mode of goodness. Therefore, he is transcendental to the material energy. Sarup Aishvarya Purna Krishna Samaprai Krishna Amshi Teho Amsha Vede Henagai Lord Vishnu is in the category of Shramsa because he has opulences almost equal to Krishna's. Krishna is the original person and Lord Vishnu is the personal expansion. This is the verdict of all Vedic literatures. Although an incarnation of the material energy, Lord Brahma is nonetheless the director of the material mode of passion. Similarly, Lord Shiva, though simultaneously one with and different from Lord Krishna, is still the incarnation of the mode of darkness. However, Lord Vishnu is Krishna's personal expansion. Therefore, he is the director of the mode of goodness and is always transcendentally situated beyond the jurisdiction of the modes of material nature. Lord Vishnu is the original personal expansion of Krishna and Krishna is the original source of all incarnations. As far as, as far as power is concerned, Lord Vishnu is as powerful as Lord Krishna because he possesses all the opulences. Departure eva i dashantaram abhyupetya Dipayate vivritta hetu samana dharma yas tadrageva icha vishnu taya vibhati govinda mari parusham tamaham bhajami. When the flame of one candle is expanded to another candle and placed in a different position, it burns separately, and its illumination is as powerful as original candles. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of God at Govinda expands himself in different forms as Vishnu, who is equally luminous, powerful, and opulent. Let me worship the Supreme Personality of God at Govinda. (laughs) 
ब्रह्म शिव अज्ञ करे भक्तवत फलनार्थे विष्णु कृष्णर स्वरूप कर द कंक्लूशन इज दट लॉर्ड ब्राह्म एंड लॉर्ड शिव आर सिंपली डिवोडी इनकर्नेशन सु कैरी आउट ऑर्डर्स हवेवर लॉर्ड विष्णु द मेन्टेनर इज द पर्सनल फीचर ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण श्रीजाम श्रीजात नियुक्त हम हरो हरति थशा विश्वाम पुरुष रूपेण परिपाति श्री शक्ति दृक लॉर्ड ब्राह्म सेड आई एम एंगेज बाय द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड इट टू क्रिएट फॉलोइंग इज ऑर्डर्स लॉर्ड शिव डिजॉल्व एवरीथिंग द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड इट इन हिज फॉर्म ऑफ शिरो दक्षाय विष्णु maintains all the affairs of material nature let the supreme controller of the three modes of material nature uh, the, thus the supreme controller of the three modes of material nature is lord vishnu manvantara avatara ebe shuna sanatan asankya ganana tara shuna karan osanatan just hear about the incarnations who appear during the reign of each manu manvantara avatars they are unlimited and no one can count them just hear of their source brahma ek dine hoy choda manvantar choda avatara tahan korana ishwar in one day of brahma there are 14 changes of the manus and during the reign of each of those 14 manus an incarnation is manifested by the supreme personality of god it from this verse it can be calculated in one month 30 days of brahma's life there are 420 manvantar avatars and that in one year 360 days of his life there are 5040 manvantar incarnations thus for the 100 years of brahma's life there is a total of 504000 manvantar avatars in addition the manus themselves are considered partial incarnations of the supreme personality of god it chaude ek dine mashe chare shat bish brahma ra vat sare pancha sahasra chalish There are 14 manvantara avatars in one day of Brahma 420 in one month and 5040 in one year. Shateka vatsara hoy jivana brahma panchalak chari sahasra manvantavatar during the 100 years of Brahma's life there are 504000 manvantara avatars. Ananta Brahmande Aiche Korahaganan Mahavishnu Ekshvase Brahmara Jivan The number of Manvantara avatars for only one universe has been given one can only imagine how many Manvantara avatars exist in the innumerable universes and all these universes and brahmas exist only during one exhalation of Mahavishnu महाविष्णुर नीरशेर नहिक पर्जंत एक मनवंतार अवतार देक लेकर अंत देयर इज नो लिमिट टू द एक्सलेशंस ऑफ महाविष्णु जस्ट सी हाउ इंपॉसिबल इट इज टू स्पीक और राइट ऑफ ओनली ऑफ ओनली द मनवंतार अवतार्स स्वयं भुवे जह स्वरोचिषे विभुनाम उत्तमे सत्यसेन तमसे हरियाविदान इन द स्वयं भुव मनवंतार द अवतार इज कॉल्ड यज्ञ इन द स्वरोचिषा मनवंतार ही इज नेम विभु इन द उत्तम मनवंतार ही इज नेम सत्यसेन एंड देन इन द तमस मनवंतार ही इज नेम हरि रायवते वैकुंत चक्षुषे अजित वायवस्वाते वामन 
Sabarnye Sarvaboma Daka Sabarnye Rishabhaganan. In the Raivata Manvantar, the avatar is named Vaikuntha. And in the Chakshusha Manvantar, he is named Ajita. In the Vaivasvata Manvantara, he is named Vaman. And in the uh, Savarnya Manvantara, he is named Sarvabhoma. In the Dhaka, Avata, in the Dhaka Savarnya Manvantara, he is named Rishabha. Rama Savarnya Vishvaksena Dharma Seta Dharma Sa Savarnya Rudra Savarnya Sudama Yog Yogeshvara Deva Savarnya. In the Brahma Savarnya Manvantar, the avatar is named Vishvaksena. And in the Dharma Savarnya, he is named Dharma Setu. In the Rudra Samva Savarnya, he is named Sudama. And in the Deva Savarnya, he is named Yogeshwara. Indra Savarnya, Brahma Banu Abhidan, E Choda Manvantare Choda Avataranam. In the Indra Savarnya Manvantara, the Savarnya is named Brihad, Brihad Banu. These are the names of the 14 avatars in the, four, in the 14 manvantaras. In the Indra Savarna Manvatar, the avatar is named Brihadvanu. These are the names of the 14 avatars in the 14 manvantaras. Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur in his Anubhasha gives a list of Manus and their father's names. So I am Bhuva Manu, the son of Lord Brahma. Svarochisha, the son of Svarochis or Agni, the predominating deity of fire. Uttama, the son of King Priyavrata. Tamasa, the, the brother of Uttama. Raivata, Rai the, the twin brother of Tamasa. Chakshush, Chakshusha, the son of the demigod Chakshus. Vivas, Vivasvata, the son of, of uh, Vivasan. The, the, sun, the sun gods whose name is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, so here it says, uh, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakurna Zanubhasha gives a list of the Manus and their Father's name, Swayambhuva Manu, the son of Lord Brahma, Swarochisa, the son of Swarochi, Swaragni, the predominating deity of fire, Uttama, the son of King Priyavrata, Tamasada, the brother of Uttama, Raivata, the twin brother of Tamasa, Chakshusha, the son of the demigod Chakshush, Vivasvata, the son of Vivasvan, the sun god, whose name is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Savarni, a son born to the sun god and his wife Chaya. Daka Savarni, the son of the demigod Varuna. Rama Savarni, the son of Upash, Upashloka. Rudra Savarni, Dharma, Dharma Savarni, Deva Savarni, and Indra Savarni, the sons of Rudra, Ruchi, Satya, Saha, and Bhuti, respectively. Yugavatara Ebe Shuna Sanatan, Satya Treta, Dwarpara Kali Jugaraganan. O Sanata, now hear, now hear from me about the Yugavatars, the incarnations for the many millenniums. First of all, there are four Yugas, Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwarpara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Shukla, Rakta, Krishna, Pita, Krame, Charivarna, Charivarna, Dori, Krishna, Krishna, Kor, Korana, Juga, Dharma. In the four yugas, Satya, Treta, Dwarpara, and Kali, the Lord incarnates in four colors, white, red, black, and yellow, respectively. These are the colors of the incarnations in different millenniums. 
Asan Varnas Trayo Yasha Grinato Nu Yugam Tanu Shuklo Raktas Tata Pita Idanam Idanim Krishna Tam Gata The child this child formerly had three colors according to the prescribed color for different millenniums. Formerly he was white, red, and yellow, and now he has assumed a blackish color. This verse spoken from Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by Gargamuni when performing the name giving ceremony for Krishna at the house of Nandamars. The following two verses are also from Srimad Bhagavatam. Krite Shuklas Chatur Bahur Jatilo Vaikalambara Krishna Gyo Pavitakshan Bibrad Danda Kamal Kamandalu Krite Shuklas Chatur Bahur Jatilo Vaikalambara Krishna Jino Bhavitakshan Vibradanda Kamandalu Krite Shuklas Chatur Bahur Jatilo Vaukam Vaukalambara Krite Shuklas Chatur Bahur Jatilo Vaukalambara Krishna Jino Bhavitakshan Bibrad Danda Kamandalu. In Satya Yuga, the Lord appeared in a body covered white, with forearms and matted hair. He wore three. He wore tree bark, and bore a black antelope skin. He wore a sacred thread and a garland of rudraksha bees. He carried a rod and a water pot, and he was a brahmachari. Shreetayam rakta varno so chatur bahus tri megala hiranyakeshas triatma shruks shruvadi upalakshana. In Shreta Yuga, the Lord appeared in a body that had a reddish hue and four arms. There were di three distinctive lines on his abdomen, and his hair was golden. His form manifested the Vedic knowledge, and he bore the symbols of a sacrificial spoon, ladle, and so on. Satya Yuga Dharma Dhyana Koraya Shukla Murtidari Kardamake Varadila Jeho Kripakori. All as the white incarnation, the Lord taught religion and meditation. He offered benedictions to Kardama Muni, and in this way he showed. His causeless mercy. Kardama Muni was one of the Prajapadis. He married Devahuti, the daughter of Manu, and their son was Kapila Dev. The Supreme Lord was very pleased with Kardama Muni's austerities and he appeared before Kardama Muni in a whitish body. This happened in the Satya Yuga, in the Satya Yuga millennium, when people were accustomed to practicing meditation. Krishna Dhyana Kori Loka Jnana Adikari Sritara Dharma Yagya Karaya Rakta Varnadari. In, in Satya Yuga, the people were generally advanced in spiritual knowledge and could meditate upon Krishna very easily. The people's occupational duty in Treta Yuga was to perform great sacrifices. This was induced by the personality of Godhead in his reddish incarnation. Krishna Padarchana Hoy Dwarpader Dharma Krishna Varne Karaya Loki Krishna Archana Karma Krishna Padarchana Hoy Dwapareer Dharma Krishna Varne Karaya Loke Krishna Archana Karma. In Dwarpara Yuga, the people's occupational duty was to worship the lotus feet of Krishna. Therefore, Lord Krishna, appearing in a blackish body, personally induced people to worship him. 
Dwarpare Bhagavan Shama Pita Vasha Nijayuda Trivatsadi Bir Ankaischa Lakshanar Upalakshita. In Dwarpara Yuga, the personality of God it appears in a blackish hue. He is dressed in yellow, he holds his own weapons, and he is decorated with the Kostuba jewel and the mark of Srivats. This is how his symptoms are described. This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam. The Shama color is not blackish. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur compares it to the color of the Atasi flower. It is not that Lord Krishna himself appears in a blackish color in all the Dwarpara Yugas. In other Dwarpara Yugas, previous to Lord Krishna's appearance, the Supreme Lord in appe appeared in a greenish body by his own personal expansion. This is mentioned in the Vishnu Purana, Harivamsha and, Man and Mahabharata. Namaste Vasudevaya, Nama Shankarshanayacha, Pradyumna Yanirudaya, Tubyam Bhagavate Nama. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, expanded as Vasudeva Shankarshan Pradyumna and Aniruda. This is a prayer from Srimad Bhagavatam spoken by Karabhajana Muni when he was questioned by Maharaj Nimi, the king of, of Vaideha, about the incarnations in specific yugas and their methods of worship. Karabhajana Muni was one of the nine yogendras and he met the king to inform him about future incarnations. E mantra dwarpare kore Krishna chan, Krishna nama sankirtana kali jugera dharma. By this mantra, the people worship Lord Krishna and dwarpara yuga. In kali yuga, the occupational duty of the people is to chant congregationally the holy name of Lord of Krishna. So, namaste vasudevaya, nama sankarsanaya cha, pradyum nani yu. Anirudaya Tubyam Bhagavate Nama. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality, personality of God had expanded as Vasudeva Shankarshan Pradyumna Aniruda. By this mantra, the people worship Lord Krishna and Dwarpara Yuga. In Kali Yuga, the occupational duty of the people is to chant congregationally the holy name of Krishna. Pita Varna Dori Tabe. Koila Pravartan Prema Bhakti Dila Loke Loya Bhakta Gan. In the age of Kali, by in the age of Kali, Lord Krishna assumes a golden color and accompanied by his personal devotees, introduces Harinam Sankirtan, the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. By this process he delivers love for Krishna to the general populace. Dharma pravartana kore brajendra nandan premegaya nache lok kore sankirtan. Lord Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj, personally introduces the occupational duty of the age of Kali. He personally chants and dances in ecstatic love, and thus the entire world chants congregationally. Lord Krishna, the son of Nandamars, personally introduces the occupational duty of the age of Kali. He personally chants and dances in ecstatic love, and thus the entire world chants congregationally. Krishna Varnam Trisha Krishnam Sango Pangastra Parshadam Yajna Sankirtana Prayar Yajanti Isumedasa in the age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of Godhead, who consistently 
or who constantly sings the name of Krishna. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. He is accompanied by his associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions. Aratin Juge Jani Te Aratin Juge Janadi Te Jai Falahoi Kali Yuge Krishna Name Se Falapai. In the other three yugas, Satya, Treta, and Dwarpara, people perform different types of spiritual activities. Whatever results they achieve in, the, in that way, they can achieve in Kali Yuga simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. In other three yugas, Satya, Treta, and Dwarpara, people perform different types of spiritual activities. Whatever results they achieve in that way, they can achieve in Kali Yuga simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra. Kaler dosha nide rajan asti eko mahan, mahan gana, guna kirtanad eva krishnasya mukta, band, mukta banda param vrajet kaler dosha nide rajan asti eko Mahanguna Kirtanad Eva Krishnasya Mukti Banda Param Rajit. My dear King, although Kali Yuga is full of faults, there is still one good quality about this age. And it is that simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, one can become free from material knowledge and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. My dear King, although Kali Yuga is full of faults, there is still one good quality about this age. It is that simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. So, So I'm going to stop at this place, and tomorrow we'll continue. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Jadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinata Marana Mohan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raghunath Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Echai Gosai Kori Chanana Bandhan Jahoi De Vignana Shabhista Puran Echai Gosai Jar Mui Taranas Tasabar Bhatta Renu Mora Panchagras Tadir Charana Sevi Bhakta Sanibas Janame Janame More Abilas Echai Gosai Jabe Braje Koilabas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Korila Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Sri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majayaman Sri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyash Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narata Mudas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Nitai Gora Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Nitai Gora Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giri Dari Juki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Paravajaka Charyashta Tara Sadarshi Srimad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa 
Parabhajakachari Ashta Tara Sadasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Namachari Srila Harida Sakur Ki Jai Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunashi Jiba Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunashi Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Premzi Gosh Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadan Harshi Vasudhi Sri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai, Naratam Shriniva Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Vishwabharanya Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Madhacharya Vrinda Ki Jai, Ananta Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Navadeep Dham Ki Jai, Shri Dham Mayapur Ki Jai, Saparshada Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshada Shri Man Maha Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Koladvip Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai, Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Hari Nama Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bo.